Why don't we talk about the events of the summer and the national movement around uh, racial justice and how, if any way, that has impacted your work? Sure. So the way that that has impacted our work is, is on, on multiple levels. Um, first, just on a, on a deeply personal level um, with respect to myself and my staff, one of the things that became clear to me was that people were really traumatized by all of the events this summer from George Floyd's murder to the outcry for racial justice to the looting um, to the peaceful protest. All of it had significant impacts on people and it affected folks in many different ways. And what I realized was that if our agencies and our frontline workers were to be present to pour into the folks in need, the people who have been laid off in you know, record numbers, that we also needed to do some self-care in order to be able to address the trauma of the individuals coming in to seek help. So that was one level of work. The other level of work was really around expanding our reach, making sure that we are hyper virtual, that people can access our services, um, because you know we were under uh, shelter in place orders for some time, so we needed to be able to have services available to people. Um, but we also have seen a lot of our small and medium sized businesses that had to shut their doors as a result of the, the chaos, the unrest and the pandemic. And so what we have now is a record number of individuals who are unemployed and or underemployed um, more than has ever really been seen in our, our recent history and recent memory. And so it's really going to require sort of a, re, um, a reimagining of how we deliver services to people, how people actually undergo occupational training. Um, we have, even in our, our manufacturing firms, are talking about how they can train people, even though they've got to be spatially distant, right? So you've got these machines that people actually have to be working on, um, physically hands-on. And so how do you do that training when folks need to be apart from one another? Um, you know, the, the other piece for us is just looking at the disproportionate impact to black and brown communities. And so we already were overrepresented in service industries and as essential workers. And then if many of those businesses close down, then we're gonna be overrepresented in terms of the number of unemployed. And so it, it is, um, you know, it's a, it's a catch 22. It really is a, it's a, it's a challenging time as I'm sure you well know. Um, but we do have employers who are also hiring. And so there is, um, there, you know, there is hope um, in terms of employment opportunities and the, the, the chance to change things around.